A lot of people don't know this, but I actually have a day job outside of this YouTube channel. In addition to being a world famous YouTuber, I'm also a part-time sheriff within the New York City Sheriff's Office. And by part-time, I mean mostly on special occasions like Halloween, just to support the local police force. I'm just from uh, upstate. Technically, they don't actually know I'm supporting them, but... I heard you guys needed some backup. Yeah, just did. coming down. It doesn't really matter. They issued me this uh, hand sanitizer to make sure everyone's... Uh, <laughs> If you guys need any sanitizer, everyone hands up, hands out, hands out, hands out. No, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to serve this year, just with everything that's been going on. But, you know, I was sitting at home just thinking about it, and I realized... Zaxi, hop in the car, sit on my face. Sit on my face, huh? Hey, that's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. Nah, I can't stay home this year. Excuse me, guys. There's no uh, no public drinking out here. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm so you guys, you guys seem cool. So let, let it slide. Let it slide for now. Uh, it was my boy. It was Is that my birthday you? That's me. Today I'm gonna show you my ID right now. Yep. Let me give you the light. Hold on, hold on. That's oh, damn, that is you. It's not even out. 97. Today's his birthday. I You're a youngin', man. You're a youngin'. You're a youngin'. That's my birthday. I'm just greatness right now, boss man. What's your name? Oh, you're a Scorpio. I am. Oh, very yeah. nice. My grandfather was an officer, and so was my father. Growing up to protect and serve was always my calling. But you know, as I joined the force, as I saw the world change, the reality is the nature of my calling changed as well. How do you guys feel about cops, by the way? How do I feel about police officers? Yeah. Fuck the police. No, no, no. I'm going to give you my honest answer. And if this is going on YouTube, it got to be maintained. Okay, right? please. I think about this a lot. Like in the military, they have training for like like months. Like the SEAL teams, they have like a bunch of challenges they have to go through. Like cops should have the same thing. They have like a few hours of training now is what I hear. I feel like police officers should do their job. Yeah. And the, and the job they're doing is to serve and protect. Okay. I feel like their focus is being maintained to keep us down. I'm not, I'm not really in any position to talk about it, but like, there's just a lot, there's a lot of money spent on them. Without police officers, I don't know what the world would be like. So I can't sit here and say I wouldn't want them on the street. What I do want them to do is stop harming us as people of every color. It doesn't matter what color you are. Stop harming us and stop making us feel like we're afraid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. I mean, as a part-time cop, I kind of feel like I have my feet in both waters. On one hand, I totally agree that there are things that need to change, but on the other, I feel like we could go about it a better way. Uh, officer, how are you? Good, man. How you doing? Can you beat me in the head? I just don't know that right. Oh, it's all right, man. Just breathe. Just breathe. How you doing, man? Oh, just gotta do Hey, 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 hey! Get your hands in my face. Don't, don't, I'm don't touch him. Don't touch him. Excuse me, ma'am. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. This is a place for anger. There's a place for protests and sometimes even rioting. But there's no place for hate. I mean, hate just doesn't accomplish anything. You fascist! You fascist! You're all I wonder if it's possible for us as a country to change without hate, without judgment, or without condemnation. Uh, protest against you guys this year, and like, how does that feel? Like, uh, it's a right to protest. Yeah, for sure. Does that get hard though? Because they're literally just yelling at your face, and I'm like, bro, like, you can't. No, we're pretty thick skinned. You missed it. Someone was doing it 10 minutes before you got here. Yep. Oh, yeah? It really doesn't affect you at all? No. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder you, gotta, you guys. You gotta learn how to get thick skinned, dude. Yeah. I just feel like. When we ostracize an entire population of people, whether based off the profession, or race, or beliefs, or biases, when we see other people as separate from us, we do ourselves a great disservice because any change that comes from that isn't going to be good, it isn't going to last. Let me see your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you're 
trying to hide it. You're what mustache? What this is this is completely real. It took me about three Listen, years to grow. It's, it's November, remember? November. Yep, yep. I'm I'm getting a head start. <laughs> Uh, I started about three years ago because I'm Asian. It takes us forever to grow hair. <laughs> no big deal. Don't worry about it. Hey, well, listen, I, I appreciate you guys for what you guys do. Uh, oh, I, I know there's always room for change, but you guys uh, don't have an easy job. So, um, yeah, do. Not, yep, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, we don't have an easy job. So, uh, but no, I appreciate it. Um, and yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Yeah. It's time to put away the harsh rhetoric, lower the temperature, see each other again, listen to each other again. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. They are not our enemies. They are Americans. They are Americans. There was a lot of excitement in the city after the election was over. It was like the whole city breathed a sigh of relief and we gained a bit of hope. You know what? Probably the worst year up until right now, my friend. It's changing, right? It's this changing. This year has changed for the better, obviously. Dude, this shit isn't about Democratic or Republic. It's no. just being human beings. Yes. This is about, about America, around. yes. Yes. If you didn't wake up happy today, you know. It's about it's having a simple. moral compass. It's that easy. It's that simple. My hope is that in 2021, we learn to come together, that we choose to see the inherent value of a person, no matter their beliefs, no matter their biases, no matter whether you think they're wrong or stupid, that we stop seeing people as separate from us, that we learn to love thy neighbor and thy enemy. When I was a little boy, I remember asking my grandfather one day, Ye -ye, how do I be the best cop in the world? And you know what he said? He said, love. He said, boy, if you don't got love, you don't got anything. Love that is patient and kind, that isn't prideful, that doesn't keep track of when someone else has right or wronged you, but also isn't happy with injustice, but is happy with the truth. He said, boy, if you have that kind of love, you will always protect, always serve, always have hope, and always persevere. And he will raise you up on eagle's wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, and make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his hand.